what's going on? It's the Fantasy Professor here, back again with a brand new video. It's November 14th, it's a Monday. Uh, Donald Trump's our next president. Um, I haven't been doing some videos because I've been away recently. Uh, I was on vacation for a few days, so I'm sorry that I couldn't get back to some of your comments and messages. I know I got a lot um, in my inbox, so I'm going to start uh, filtering through and responding to your questions. With that being said, let's get right into tonight's lineups. I know last week uh, I didn't do a recap because I didn't make videos, obviously. I was away, I was back home, uh, so I didn't have a chance to do any of those videos. With that being said, I have tonight's slate all broken down right here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First game of the night, you got Orlando and Indiana. It's a 207 over under. Now, Paul George uh, most likely is not playing in this game. Uh, with that being said, on the Indiana side, I feel like CJ Miles is a great play, especially against these horrible, horrible Orlando defenders. Uh, at 5500 he's at a great price, and he should get you uh, 30 to 35 minutes tonight, and which he should easily be able to exceed value. Jeff T, 6400 going up against Alfred Payton. Now, Alfred Payton has become one of the best point guard defenders in the entire league, so I don't know how it will be, but at 6400 that's a great, great price for him going up against Alfred Payton. Um, even though he's a good defender, uh, with Paul George out, someone's going to need to take the shots, and that's where Jeff T comes in. Miles Turner, 6,800. Um, I know Ibaka had a great, great performance last night in OKC, but that was a revenge game. So I don't know how he'll do, but as you can see, I put Ibaka up there uh, just if you wanted to add him. But I like Miles Turner at that 6,800 price uh, range. I feel like tonight he's going to drop one of those like 35 to 40 DK points uh, against the Orlando Magic. Uh, on the flip side, uh, Alfred, starting with Alfred Payton, 5,600 now. This man went off on Russell Westbrook. He had uh, 52 fantasy points in that game, which is uh, far and away his best performance of the year, probably. Uh, he's very close to getting that triple-double, and he's becoming that all-around uh, point guard, which I really, really like. Um, the other guy I like on Orlando's side, uh, Sergi Baca, 5,300. As you know, as well, he had a 50 fantasy point outbreak last night. Um, I don't know how they'll be coming out of that back-to-back. -back. They might get shorter minutes. Uh, Frank Vogel's trying to find a rhythm where Orlando can consistently win. Um, with that being said, I like pairing these two tonight if you wanted to in a certain lineup. Uh, all right, that covers that game. Next game, you got OKC and Detroit. It's a 200 over-under, so it's not really that high. Uh, that's because Andre Drummond is not playing in this game. Um, if you guys are like, with that being said, uh, Russell Westbrook, 10,800. He had that monster, monster 83 fantasy point game yesterday. Um, I don't really think everyone's going to be on him. I feel like everyone's going to be on James Harden. So he's like, he's like that under-the-radar play. So if you want to go that route, uh, feel free. Uh, I don't hesitate to do so. 10,800, that seems relatively low, considering last week how high he was, using that like 12,000 price range last week. Um, Steven Adams, 5,300. Um, he didn't do as good as I expected against the Orlando Magic yesterday, but he's now on the road against the Detroit Pistons without Andre Drummond. So he's going to be going up against the bench of Aaron Baines and Boban. Um, if Boban doesn't get uh, a lot of minutes, this is going to uh, be key for Adams to be a key cog in this offense, especially today with Andre Drummond, their best defender, out. So I like Steven Adams with that 5,300 5, price tag. Uh, pretty well. On the flip side, Aaron Baines, 3,000. He should be getting starters minutes going up against Steven Adams, who's not the best defender, but he's pretty solid. Um, Aaron Baines should get you a lot of rebounds and putbacks. He is a much, much better free throw shooter than Andre Drummond is. Um, I feel like he could be a starter on certain teams in this league that need those big men to step up with their game. KCP, uh, 5,000 going up against Oladipo. Oladipo didn't do so well against the, his former squad, the Orlando Magic. He was in that key trade uh, with Serge Ibaka, and he's now on, obviously on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, so I like KCP at 5,000 to shut down Oladipo tonight. That's why I don't have him recommended. Um, he's kind of that streaky scorer. He'll give you those 40 fantasy point upsides, but then he has those very, very low, like, 10 fantasy point games. Um, and just screw your entire lineup completely, but... He, he's a high-risk, high-reward player, um, but tonight is definitely the night to play him. As well as Tobias Harris at 5,900, that's very low for a guy that's usually around that 6,800 price tag range, especially on DK. 
Um, he provides a lot of upside, a lot of three-pointers, um, assists. Um, he's a mid-range shooter as well. Going up against Kyle Sigler and Sabonis, uh, no problem. You should smoke them, as well as Marcus Morris, if you wanted to uh, put him in some of your lineups. All right, next game, we got Boston and New Orleans, 211 over under. Um, on, south, on Boston's side, I like Marcus Smart's uh, 5,400 going up against Tim Fraser and Buddy Heald, Etwan Moore. He's in a great spot, uh, 5,400. Um, actually, you know what? He's been playing the small forward position. Um, Brad Stevens has been going with a three guard lineup of Isaiah Thomas, Marcus Smart, and Avery Bradley in those three positions, but 5,400 going up against Solomon Hill doesn't scare me a bit, so go ahead and put him in most of your lineups tonight, sorry. Avery Bradley, 7,000, uh, his price has skyrocketed a little bit, but he's proven why, and it's because of his consistency. He's consistently hit value almost every single game this year. I really like him in this spot against New Orleans on the road, uh, especially if Isaiah Thomas is questionable, I don't know how he'll be. If he'll be 100%, he jammed his finger, I think. So he's not 100% right now, but we'll see what happens in the game. That being said, Avery Bradley is the only other Celtic I like for tonight. Uh, on the flip side, the only guy I like from the Pelican side is Terrence Jones, 4,300. That price tag intrigues me a lot. Um, I don't really think anyone's going to be on him. I feel like he'll be like 5% owned tonight if that. Um, he provides very, very high upside, so get, go ahead and get him in your lineups. All right, next game. This is the highest, yeah, the highest over under the night. You got Philadelphia and Houston, 216 over under. Now, with that high over under, that means that it's probably going to be close and it's going to be a high scoring game. Uh, with that being said, there's only one guy I like on Philadelphia's side. That's Robert Covington at 5,500. Um, he intrigues me going up against Trevor Ariza. He's kind of like their goal to small forward. And he has, uh, if you saw last year and you go back to those logs, you can see that he is consistently. Um, uh, stepped up for a team in need at that wing position. Um, on the flip side, you got uh, a lot of Rockets. So if this is the game you want to target, um, if you wanted to target one game, I mean, this is definitely a game to do so. James Harden at 12,000, um, going up against Sergio Rodriguez, um, Nick Stauskas, uh, Hollis Thompson. He's going to smoke them. He should get... Uh, no lower than a 60 to 70 fantasy point uh, game tonight with that nice triple double at that 12,000 price tag. He is the highest. Uh, he costs the most fantasy wise, uh, but he shows it with his production as well. Ryan Anderson, 5,600, um, going up against Robert Covington, awful defender. Dario Saric, Joel Embiid. Uh, Ryan Anderson should hit a lot of three pointers tonight. I feel like tonight's going to be uh, his 35 fantasy point night that he's. Uh, is more than capable of giving. Eric Gordon, 5,200, uh, going up against, again, the shooting guard position um, with Nick Stauskas, uh, a lot of those sh Philadelphia shooting guards that all suck. Uh, Philly's one of the worst defensive teams in the entire league, so Eric Gordon and Ryan Anderson should be in line for a nice three-point shooting uh, barrage tonight. Trevor Rees at 5,100, uh, Robert Covington, like I've said, not a great defender, so it's going to leave Trevor Rees in. He usually plays 35 to 40 minutes per night. So if this game's staying close, they might use him as one of their go-to options uh, at that small forward position. Fifth game on the slate, you got Miami and San Antonio, 192 over under. Um, I don't really like this game, especially because that over under, and this one's even worse, as you can see there. But 192 over under doesn't really want me, uh, doesn't really make me want to uh, choose one of these guys, but for every reason, if you wanted to, uh, go right ahead. Tyler Johnson, 5,200. Goran Dragic will be out in this game. Uh, with that being said, him and Richardson should take up most of the guard spot uh, with Deion Waiters uh, backing them up on the bench. 5,200 is the great price going up against Tony Parker, Patty Mills, and Danny Green. Um, Josh Richardson, 4,400. Um, he's coming off that MCL surgery. Uh, a few weeks ago, and he's starting to get consistent minutes. Last game, he had 33 minutes, and those numbers should continue to be on the rise, especially without Goran Dragic there. And at 4,400, he provides that very, very high upside that you need to win those tournaments tonight. So he's at a great spot. Um, on the flip side, LaMarcus Aldridge, 6,700, that's very low. 
If you go back to last year, his prices were in that 8 to 9K range. But at 6,700, he offers very, very high upside. And tonight, especially going up against Luke Babbitt, Derek Williams, uh, the Heat are not strong, particularly at the power forward spot, with Chris Bosch obviously not being there. So LaMarcus Aldridge, 6,700, this is a great bounce back spot. And I feel like tonight he drops that 50 fantasy point uh, 50 fantasy point game on the Miami Heat. Uh, so he's one of my favorite picks of this night. So go ahead, put him in at least 75% of your lineups, because he's going to uh, multiply value by, say, seven to eight times tonight, especially at that price range. Uh, another guy I like coming off injury, uh, just like Richardson, Danny Green, 4,100. Uh, they, they had him uh, play, I think, one game in the D-League uh, to kind of rehab and get him back uh, and acclimated. So 4,100, going up against the Miami Heat. Uh, Tyler and Josh are not notoriously good defenders. The only good defender on Miami's team is Kawhi Le- uh, No, not Kawhi. Uh, Justin ha- No, Justice Winslow. Sorry about that. Justice Winslow, uh, who should be guarding Kawhi the entire night. So I feel like those two will probably cancel each other out which will leave Aldridge and Danny Green open, especially if Danny Green is going up against, let's say, Deion Waiters gets subbed in. Uh, Deion Waiters, horrible, horrible defender. So Danny Green, I like in that spot, especially with that price tag. All right, the worst game on the slate, uh, as you can see, wrote no one for Memphis. Uh, Memphis and Utah, 187 over under. This is going to be a horrible, horrible game. But if you like targeting these games that nobody wants, uh, go right ahead by all means. Uh, on Memphis' side, I like no one. Um, I just think that this is an ugly, ugly game, and it's going to turn into a blowout, and Utah should win uh, pretty easily at home. Gordon Hayward, 7,600. He's been putting up consistent uh, 40 fantasy point outbro- uh, no, what, outbreaks or something like that. 7,600, he's at a great price uh, at that weak small forward position for tonight. Um, 7,600. He's the go-to scorer, and he's in line for that next, uh, what's it called, that max contract this summer. So he's at a great spot, 7,600. But Derek Favors should not be in this game. With that being said, Trey Lodge is at a great spot at 3,300, and Boris Dio is not playing. So he's going to get all the minutes he can handle tonight, going up against Zach Randolph, um, Jermichael Green, who's a bad defender. So take a shot on Trey Lyles tonight. Compare him. What I did was in one lineup for Trey Lyles and where the Aaron Baines at that power forward center stack uh, for punting, and then playing the Hardens, the Westbrooks, the Pauls um, to fill out the other roster spots. But you can play around with it and see how you like it. Uh, last guy I like on Utah side, Joe Johnson, 3,900. Uh, Rodney Hood should not be playing in this game. But that being said. Um, they need Joe Johnson to step up. They might need him to uh, step up, especially for tonight. Uh, Tony Allen, I don't think he's playing in this game. So that would open up a uh, better opportunity for Joe Johnson to get his points. Especially in a blowout situation, he's kind of blowout proof. Uh, he should play the rest of the game if it turns into one. Seventh game on the slate, Dallas and New York, 204 over under. If you guys are like uh, Seth Curry, 4100, we saw what he did to the Golden State Warriors, especially against his brother. Uh, at 4100 he's at a great price, very, very low, with that very, very high upside. Um, he should give you uh, 25 to 30 minutes tonight. I don't think Darren Williams is playing tonight. He should probably be playing, I think, Wednesday. But even then, he'd be limited because he's been uh, inactive for quite a few weeks now. 4100 I like his tag, his price tag, and he should give you, I would say, at least 25 fantasy points minimum tonight. So he, with that upside of... 30 to 40, I would say, is a great uh, observation. Now, Harrison Barnes, like I've said before, he's my favorite DFS player uh, at that small forward position. 7,100 going up against Carmelo Anthony on the road. They're going to need someone to score. They're going to need someone to step up. Uh, This is where Harrison Barnes comes in. And I really don't think Carmelo has a great game. That's because Harrison Barnes is a very, very good lockdown defender. Uh, Justice Winslow feels like a young uh, Harrison Barnes to me. And I feel like over time, Justice can mold into that Harrison Barnes type of role as their number one scoring option, not just Hassan Whiteside. But Harrison Barnes, 7,100, great price. Carmelo Anthony's defense, pretty bad. Um, he should get you at least 30 to 35 fantasy points tonight at that 7K price tag. Um, Justin Anderson, 3,800. Now, uh, what's it called? The Dallas Mavericks were shorthanded last game. 
That being said, 3,800 uh, for Justin Anderson. He stepped in, and he was playing that point guard role. Uh, it was mostly a blowout in that Golden State game, but he had almost 38 fantasy points in that game. So I like him a lot at that 3.8K price tag. Um, if this turns into a blowout uh, for, for whatever reason, Justin Anderson should get uh, the bulk of the minutes at that shooting guard slash point guard spot. Uh, I like seeing him bring the ball up and down the court, especially in that uh, Warriors game. On the flip side, Joe Kim Noah, 4,600. Uh, I don't really see any good defender on Dallas' side. Uh, Dwight Powell might be a guy you could target for that. But Joe Kim Noah, 4,600, he's at a great price. Um, he should get you what? He should get you at least maybe 30 minutes tonight with that at least bare minimum uh, 25 fantasy points at that 4.6K price tag. Christoph Porzing is another guy like 6,900. Uh, who's he going up against? Dirk's, not, Dirk's out, so Justin Anderson and Dwight Powell might slide into that spot. Uh, so Porzingis is in a great spot tonight, and they're trying to get him more involved in the offense uh, to boost their uh, offensive rating and try to win some games. All right, the last game on the slate, Brooklyn and Los Angeles Clippers, 209 over under. Uh, there's only three guys I like on Brooklyn's side. That's Sean Kilpatrick, 5,500. Uh, I saw that Jeremy Lin's still going to be out. Isaiah Whitehead uh, had a concussion, so he might not be playing. So I like Sean Kilpatrick, 5,500. He should be in that 30 to 35-minute uh, range tonight. And he has that high upside of 40 fantasy points, especially going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, it might turn into a blowout. Who knows? Uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich, 4,200. Especially if it's a blowout, he's a great guy to look at. At 4,200, he has that very, very high upside. And Rondé House Jefferson, we saw what he did to the Phoenix Suns. He had himself a career night. Um, at 4,400, uh, the Clippers don't have any good small forward. Luke Mbaa Mute is a pretty bad um, starter, if you ask me, at especially that weak small forward spot on Los Angeles' side. So RHJ is a great guy to target, 4,400. He's turning into their go-to scorer, so he's a great guy to look at for tonight. On the flip side, you got Chris Paul, 8,700. Now, the only thing I'm worried about in this game is that it's going to be a blowout, but by judging at that over-under, I don't feel like it will be. Uh, so Chris Paul at that 8700 price tag, uh, they've been blowing teams out of the water, especially recently uh, against the Portland Trailblazers, but they just shut them down. Like They, didn't, they barely even scored 80, fan, uh, 80 actual points against the Los Angeles Clippers, which is pretty uh, scary, especially for that team that's one of their higher, one of the higher offensive in, offenses in the entire league. I don't know why I'm messing up today. I just haven't done this in a while, but it's whatever. What are you going to do? Blake Griffin, 8,400. Uh, nobody on Brooklyn side should guard either of these two, especially Chris Paul, uh, Sean Kilpatrick, uh, Randy Foy. Nobody's going to stop them, uh, especially Blake Griffin. Um, you know, what? who's going to stop them? Uh, Justin Hamilton, who is filling in actually for Brooke Lopez tonight. Uh, no, Trevor Booker, no. Nobody's going to stop Blake Griffin tonight. 8,400, I like them both. The only way I don't like them is if it turns into a blowout and they don't play and they don't give you that fantasy value. But tonight, I feel like they'll reach value and they might even exceed it a little bit tonight. Uh, the best player I like on this team is DeAndre Jordan. He has the best matchup, 6,600. Uh, Brooke Lopez is not playing in this game. And Brooke Lopez has usually done good against the Los Angeles Clippers. So DeAndre Jordan at 6,600. He hasn't had that breakout game. So today, I feel like, is going to be his breakout uh, performance night. So this is the slate breakdown for the entire day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and tune in for more. Um, let, me guide, oh, let me know how you guys feel about how I'm presenting the information. And feel free to send me messages and all that other stuff. I'll see you guys later.